Hello teachers, my name is Brad Flickinger and I want to tell you about an upcoming webinar that Atomic Learning and myself are doing called Help, my students all have iPads, now what? And we're going to really delve into doing amazing projects with your students and iPads to really help with the assessment of what they've been learning. We're going to look at it in regards to Bloom's digital taxonomy to take them all from just the lower order thinking skills up to the higher order of thinking skills using iPads as creation and assessment tools. It's going to be really fun and that's on December 13th. It's a free webinar so go ahead and check out the link below and uh, just as a teaser I'm going to show you my third grade students using iPads to film a part of a web show that they're doing and you will see them use an iPad as the camera also as the teleprompter, as a clapperboard, and it's really amazing stuff, so check it out. Start recording. Recording. Action. All right, Anthony, would you rather have your skin like an armadillo's or have normal skin but a six-foot long tail, and why? I would have a uh, six-foot tail because I do not want to look like a hippo, no furry. Alright, there you have it. That wraps up another edition of Would You Rather. Back to you, fifth grade. Cut. Pretty cool use of iPads, huh? All right, in this next clip, I'm going to take you into our podcasting studio where you'll see our hosts use an iPad that has sound effects on it. And then our production people will use one iPad that has all the music that we use for the before show music and such like that. And then also you'll see another iPad that's used with um, Audioboo that records our podcast and then gets it up to iTunes. So go ahead and check this one out. <laughs> Good. Good Monday morning, Bobcats. This is Grady and McKenna with the K-Bob Radio Morning News from Bethke Elementary in Timnath, Colorado. This is episode 519. Today is month Monday, December 3rd, 2012. All right. Let's start out with some announcements. There will be the imagining. So that's just using iPads for our simple morning news. Wait till you see some of the amazing projects we use for assessments. So uh, the tiny URL to register for the webinar and to find out more information is right below me. So go ahead and type that in and check it all out. And I hope to see you on December 13th. It's a Thursday. It'll be really great to have you uh, in the webinar and seeing some of the stuff that we're doing with kids and their iPads. And just kind of as a teaser, Stay tuned after I am say goodbye to a little something uh, more that we're doing with our iPads. And don't worry, if you're in middle school or high school, all the projects that we talk about are usually very applicable to the higher grades as well. So uh, just like you've seen the other things, uh, just seeing the kids do a web show or seeing them do some podcasting, that's all still very applicable to the higher grade levels as well. So I hope to see you December 13th. Check it out. Oh, wait, before you go, I wanted to show you one more really crazy thing that we started to do with our iPads. This one isn't really for assessment, but boy, is it a lot of fun. The kids came to me and said, hey, we want to be able to record our own song. We want to do a cover song on the iPad, and we heard that we can do that in GarageBand. So we started looking into it, and we're getting ready to perform. So you will see in this shot a girl uh, playing the guitar. This is an all-girl band, so there's a girl playing the drums, and then you'll see our singers and our dancers and our backup singers. And then watch over in the corner, and you'll see the girl playing the bass guitar. You'll see her doing the bass in there. So here you go.